Hey everyone! Alright, so I'm going to give us a quick tutorial on how we can program our Ozobot using ozoblockly.com. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my search engine or my web browser ozoblockly.com and we are currently working at a beginner level, level 2, so I'll scroll down and click on get started. This is going to pull up my Blockly pad. You can just X out of that block. Alright, so you may notice a code or a program already built in. If you would like, you can simply delete that by going in the upper right hand corner, pressing on the trash, trash can, and clicking yes. That's going to clear your screen. So the first step in calibrating our Ozobot. You need to click on your flash, and here it says place Ozobot against the white spot and press load. To turn it on, or to calibrate, we need to hold in the Ozobot ear until it blinks white. So hold it in, it blinked white, release the ear, and place on your loading dock. When you place it on your loading dock, it should blink green. If it doesn't blink green and it blinks red, try calibrating again. Once you've loaded, we're calibrated, simply click on the checkbox right here for calibrating and you can begin to build your program. So the first thing I might do is pull out my set color. Here I'm going to set it to red. You can click on this to change the colors. And then I'm going to pull out my first movement. Move forward one step and medium. To load your program, simply click the ear once and place on your loading dock. Then you can click load bit. Here it tells you how long it's going to take to load. Here it's five seconds. During that time your Ozobot should be blinking green. Once it's done loading you can pull off your Ozobot and it says on the left hand side here double press the power button to run your program. So I'm going to double press one two and it blinked red and shut off. So if it shuts off pretty quickly, it normally means that you need a, an adjustment in your distance. So I'll change the distance to 10 and I'll also change the speed to slow. After each time you change your program, um, you'll have to reload it onto your bit. So I click once on the ear to turn it on, place it on my loading dock, load bit, Again, it says five seconds to load as it's blinking green. And then I can double tap the ear to run the program. So tap, tap, and it's going to stay red for 10 steps if I were to run it on the paper. All right, hope this helps. And if you have any questions, raise your hand or stop by and ask me. See you later.